Hi everyone, welcome to Cloud Rangers Microsoft Azure Training. This is the 2018 edition. As you know, I'm Sean Ismail, a Microsoft Azure MVP. Uh, my contact and the course assets, uh, the links below over there, as you can see for Twitter, blog, YouTube, LinkedIn, GitHub, and slides. So today is lesson two of module zero, where I talk about the overview of the exam, 7533. Uh, by overview, I mean this is a 50,000 feet overview. I'll go into some details uh, rather than reading from the course links online. I'm going to just show you which links that you really need and that are important for you and for you to go through in details uh, in the future. So I'm super excited. So let's get started. So for the 7533 exam, these are the three links that you should really bookmark in your browser. Okay, so for this exam, you should go through this in details, understand what you're getting into. Remember that I'll follow the course curriculum that I'll show you online. Um, and uh, you need to go over some of the items from there as well. So I'll leave these links in the GitHub so you can actually get back to them later. So rather than wasting time talking over here, let me take you to my browser and show you what I mean. So the very first link that I showed you is actually going to give you the details of the exam 7533, okay? So this is the one where, this is the page where you can actually go schedule the exam. You can see it's 165 USD right now or whatever the local currency you have. Um, it actually shows there's a special discount offer. I know that it bundles with a test exam and stuff like that. Anyways, bookmark this page because there's something interesting that I want to show you in this page. This page actually shows the skills that will be measured for the 7533 exam. And by that I mean is that these are the things that this exam covers. Design and implement Azure apps, compute resources, implement storage strategy, virtual networks, our templates, which is Azure Resource Manager, security and recovery services, Azure operations and Azure identity. So you can definitely expand this and get some details. So this is where you can find out that when they say that there'll be 10 to 15% coverage of design and implement Azure app service apps, what does that actually mean and what does it, it constitute? Right. So read this on your own time. I'm not going to go through all of this um, and read this to you because you can definitely do this yourself. There are a couple of inter interesting things on this page. Obviously, you can actually schedule your exam from here. The other thing over here is there is this exam 533 change document. So while recording this uh, lesson today, right now it has the latest revision, which is from January 18th, 2018. So anytime Microsoft will actually take the 7533 and change the exam or change the curriculum a little bit, you can go and look at this change document. So I actually have this open for you here. This is effective as of January 18th, 2018. You, can, you should print out this document. That's what I would do. And I can go through all of this and see where Microsoft, what, whatever Microsoft is actually going to uh, uh, test you on, as well as see that stuff they have removed, which is, which is pretty much strike through over here. And uh, you can see that before, when they were doing, for an example, integrate with Azure Active Directory, they were doing Windows Server 2012, R2, but now they moved on to 2016. So this document is actually quite important to go through and find out stuff, not only what is there for the latest exam, but what Microsoft removed and added. So it's one you want to print it out, okay? And you can actually go to this document every time from here and see the latest changes for the exam. So by the time you're viewing this, this probably may be the same or it may change. Go look at the change document. So absolutely important for you to read through all of this. But more importantly, if you go to the second link over here, the course curriculum, this is what I want you to remember quite a bit. So let's go to that link. So this is actually the course link, okay? So this was the exam link where you can see that exam 533, but this is the course 2533, the revision D. So obviously from here, you can go for an on-demand training, stuff you have to pay for, or classroom training that you have to pay for. Um, I'm actually interested more into the course details. But before I go to the course details, let's actually go to the prerequisites because this will give you an idea of the kind of background you need to come from to, uh, 
attempt and be successful in this exam. So rather than reading the whole thing over here, basically I'm going to go through briefly that, hey, Microsoft expects you to actually go through a couple of these exams because it makes it gives you a good foundation. Do you have to absolutely do it? Perhaps not. If you're already in the IT uh, industry for a while, you probably already have some of these from before in the previous editions or do that. Um, you definitely have to understand on-premises virtualization technologies. So it's not like uh, you have to absolutely. So if I talk about, for example, let's say what's a VM or a virtual machine, if you do not know what a virtual machine is, you're going to have a very hard time doing 7533. This is actually important for people who are new graduates or you know just getting into the IT industry and do not know a whole lot. So some of these items over here, you definitely have to know TCP IP, DNS, VPNs, um, can you do without this? Absolutely, but it will take you much longer to understand these concepts and get there, okay? But if you are already a veteran IT industry person, you have been already working with servers, networks, and everything for a while, uh, don't worry about it. You most likely got everything you need, okay? So let's go to the course details. So the course details, uh, like, you know, we are now in module zero. I'll tell you why I call this module zero and module one, lesson one and two and three, based on these course details. So, you can see the course outline starts from module one, introduction to Azure. So it will actually tell you what this introduction means, what the lessons that are there as part of this module. So I am not a Microsoft certified trainer, but if you were going for a Microsoft official curriculum, like if you actually go from for one of these courses over here, on-demand training or classroom training, you will most likely be trained through a Microsoft certified trainer, MCT. What MCTs get is they actually get details of this curriculum and they will teach you the course based on that in, uh, it, it is as it's established on the MOC or the official curriculum. I do not have access to all of this, but I can take a fair gaze of being in the industry for too long, having given these exams many, many times with Microsoft, what this will constitute. So for example, my next lesson that you would most likely see will be module one inter introduction to Azure and lesson one will be cloud technology overview. So what I'm going to do in my this course is actually follow Microsoft's course curriculum from here. So I'll have module one, module two, and all that stuff. This is very important for you to go through and read through this to understand what you are getting into. Now, some of this you probably will not understand right away. And you know what? That's okay. But I want you to at least start looking at some of these items and thinking what you are getting into, the kind of labs you will expecting um, after completing this module, what are the different things you'll be able to you know, understand. Since this curriculum is based, I mean, is actually, uh, the 7533 exam is actually based on this curriculum, it'll be very important for you to target each one of these and make sure that you understand these components, okay? This will help you succeed in the exam. If you're missing any one of these items over here, it means you are missing a big chunk of this. Will I be following this completely from there, from this uh, curriculum, uh, the course outline? Absolutely. Will I be covering each and every lesson as much as possible? So I'll try, to, what I mean by that is I'll try to follow the sequence, but there might be things that I might change in between based on what's available to me right away, stuff I already know right away, versus what makes sense doing later. If you're following any other course um, online or you are learning from any other book, they may follow this pattern or they may not follow this pattern. But end of the day, the previous link here is what you need to know that you absolutely understand before going and attempting this exam. Uh, there are instructors who may like this outline. There are instructors who may not. I follow, I mean, I, I prefer to follow this and that's what I'll do, okay? So there are three things I've showed you so far. This link over here, the PDF over here and the course curriculum that is the course 2533D. Now, some of you may have already started studying this uh, course and you are probably following a 2533C curriculum. I would suggest before attempting uh, the exam, you actually find out what are the changes based on this PDF because uh, Microsoft definitely put this uh, revision D over here because that's what they're going to, uh, you know, uh, that's what they're going to pretty much quiz you on, on the exams. Now, the very last link, and this should be your best friend, make sure you absolutely bookmark this one, is Microsoft's Azure documentation, okay? Very easy to remember, docs.microsoft.com. This is English US in Azure. When you come to this website over here, this is where you want to be. You want to be under products. 
So this is where I learn from, okay? And I want you, after a few lessons, get used to coming over here and finding information yourself. So for example, if I go to Azure, I want to learn about Windows Virtual Machines, I would come to Compute, click on Windows Virtual Machines over here, and you can see that Microsoft has done a phenomenal job in doing their documentation, okay? They have come a long way with the documentation. So if you don't know anything about Virtual Machines, you come to Overview, go to About Virtual Machines. It starts from scratch on what an Azure Virtual Machine is, up, you know, different locations, VM limits, yeah how to go to the portal and create the virtual machine with the screenshots. So this is where I go learn from when I see a new technology in Azure or a new thing I need to learn on, okay? So this should be absolutely something that you should bookmark. Uh, let's go back a little bit over here. Let's say I want to learn about the virtual networks. I come to uh, networking here, go to virtual networks, and you can see all the, I mean, the entire documentation of virtual networks. So what I'm basically trying to say is that you should get into the habit of coming to this. Doesn't matter which course you are following mine or anybody else's to learn or to uh, learn how to learn from this uh, website over here. Okay, so these are really the three links I want you to absolutely remember and bookmark to get into. I'll be referring to some of these links from the courses saying that, hey, I've got through this, did a little bit of lab. If you want details, you need to go to these links and make sure that one, you're covering that for the exam. And two, if you need anything more, you haven't understood anything more, I mean, understood something, you go to Azure documentation, okay? Now, there are two other links, obviously, you know, uh, you need to follow. One is, um, this is my cloudranger.net, the actual website where I'll be posting everything. And this is the new thing I did, right? Uh, so this is on GitHub. If you go to github.com, Sean Ismail, you will see a repo here called Cloud Ranger. Once you go there, you will see 7533. So what I'm going to do over here is obviously we are in module zero and right now we are in lesson two. As you can see, I put important links text over there. So this is where all the links that I have provided will also be posted here. So please bookmark this GitHub site as well. As soon as I put in any assets or I finish any lesson, they will already be there. So it's one good way to refer and find everything uh, that I'm talking about in one place. So I'm going to keep this lesson very short. That's all I have for this lesson. These three important links for you to write uh, or attempt this exam. Okay. So thank you for viewing. Please like the videos and subscribe. And here are all the places where you'll find the training site YouTube. My slide will be posted in the slide share. And I already showed you the GitHub and please connect with me on LinkedIn. All right. Thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next module and the next lesson.